presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and you YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys come up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, kicking into Labor Day. You know what's cool about Labor Day, too? For some reason, um, what I've always seen, well, my perception of Labor Day um, is you almost kick off a new year. And I think it had to, it had to do with, you know, the, the end of the summer, the bottom line is that you, you know, get back to business in a big way. Anyway, great, great time of the year, folks, no doubt. And this card is, I love this card. This is a great card, particularly you can think about this over the weekend. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action, Upon that idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no rewards. Just do it, folks. Just like Nike said, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 28, NASDAQ is up 36, SP's up 3.5, gold contract up $21.20, trading out at 1832. You get silver up 87 cents, finally caught a bid with silver, and silver's volatile, man. It's a beautiful thing, no, no doubt about it. Silver's up uh, 87 cents, $24.79 an ounce. Uh, silver's blowing away its, its swing point, has volume behind the move. 27 bucks is coming at us right now, you're $24.79. Oil, oil's uh, down 82 cents, trading at 69.17, notes and bonds. The 10-year note is down four ticks, trading 133.12, 30-year off 18 at 162.27. They are both backing down, and they're backing down with light volume. Good old King Dollar. King Dollar's down 155 ticks, trading out here at 92.07. Euro 118, yen 109.65, and the British pound 138 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're going to be at all-time highs. You're right next to all-time highs, I believe. Yeah, we're there. So you're up 31 cents, uh, 453. The all-time high yesterday is 454. Well, that's, no, you're not gonna, it's not gonna go up a half a buck into the close. Uh, so let's just see intraday what this is looking like. So that's not bad. Yeah, intraday, it, it could get up there. It could spike that high of yesterday. The high of yesterday, uh, in, you know, at the beginning of the market was uh, 454.05. We'll see whether they can do it. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, what you have with the NDX 100 is that that's trading up 136 right now, you're at 381.77, the high on Wednesday, the high was generated on Wednesday of 382.71. Good old gold, what do we have with gold? We've got the jobs number out here this morning, the bottom line is that lower for longer, that put juice under gold. Bottom line is that gold's already in an ABC structure on the way up. And let me just see if it took this other B point out. This is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, so you're actually taking this out too. So you got, uh, you're up 21 bucks. You get 178,000 contracts traded. Bottom line, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is good, man. This is, oh no, 39, 1839. Okay, it really has, it has to launch 1839 to break out of this. Uh, consolidation and to get into the downdraft that was created out here on the 16th and 17th of June. Bottom line, my take is that that's where we're going. Silver, we take a look at silver. We have silver out here 
Silva did its job finally. And Silva's always highly volatile. It seems to come out of nowhere, okay? Bottom line, once it happens, though, <laughs> it's on the move, man. Uh, you can see wide price spread, accelerated volume, all of the above. Um, that's what you have happening out here inside the silver market. Right now, we're $24.79. Come on, baby. There she is. And that's telling me that we want to run up to this $27 area. What I expect we're going to see with silver is actually it's going to run right to those highs because we definitely broke the downtrend now, and you broke this with conviction also. Let's just pull this baby up and see how this, you'll see how this is set up. That's a nice setup, man. So you can see you have the wide price spread. You got the accelerated volume inside the silver market. Let's say silver actually going for this $28.92. Notes and bonds. Now take a look at the note and bond market because this is driving a lot of things. There's just no doubt. Um, you know, we take a look at the note and bond market. We made a high today of 133.28. Couldn't handle price. You got 1.2 million contracts. Bottom line, my take was still at going for higher price, lower yield. Right now, uh, we're yielding a 1.32. And now we go over to good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. Uh, King Dollar took a long period of time in order to break its March high. The March high that we're talking about, folks, was 93,437. And I believe it's two yet. Yeah, man, time is just goes so fast. Two weeks ago, Friday, today, we broke the 93. We, we got to 93. 729. So we broke the high. It lasted all over the weekend, okay? Bottom line, now you're going after the lowest swing point, which is the 91,782. But what you're going to see inside of the uh, dollar is that the bottom line is that we broke this thing with conviction. You break with conviction, that's saying that the good old dollar wants to get down to 89,500. The GDX, we go take a look at some of the gold equities in here. The GDX right now, you up 98 cents. You get 19 million shares traded. Bottom line, what's going to have? I suspect what's happening with the GDX. This is going to be really cool, man. So if we ever get another gap higher on the GDX, this is going to leave one monster low and an island bottom low at it. Now that's not only an island bottom low. You got to look at this one. You got to pay attention to this one too. The 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 gold contract folks told us flat out that this thing was not only going to go higher, it was going to go higher in a dramatic way. And if you are uh, into candlestick charting or council charting, uh, the bottom line, if you, if you look at this in a monthly basis, it's very seldom that you see uh, a basically pattern like this. And the pattern on a monthly basis, gold last month got down to 1692 and then finished out at 1815. That is saying you're not only going higher, you're going dramatically higher. What may we may very well I'll have here is a monster ABC structure on the way up. And if that's what we have, that ABC is like, uh, man, it's a beautiful thing. It's like 900 points. That's going to get you to 2573. I, that's where I think we're going to. I, I think we're going to blow away those highs. And this thing's already started. Dollar, dollar's going south. These rates, these rates aren't going up anytime soon. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 24. NASDAQ is up 40. S&P is up four and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 34, NASDAQ's up 40, S&P's up 3.5. Let's go to our man John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, good uh, Labor Day weekend upcoming to you, sir. And you also, man, you also. Hey, man, I heard you guys got a huge amount of rain also, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you, the uh, Brandywine Creek, which is what the Brits came across in 1777 trying to trying to uh, defeat Washington uh, at the famous Battle of the Brandywine. That down picture, Chad, yeah, that picture, at, right? Okay. Yeah, down at uh, Chad's Ford, they had record high water uh, yesterday. Uh, as, yeah, yesterday morning, Thursday morning. Pretty cool. Wow, amazing. Wow, it, it, I'm telling you, man, it's amazing that, you know, the water can do so much destruction, man. I mean, it, it's, it's just, it, and it's really amazing, folks, that unfortunately, you know, the folks that, you know, got passed, passed away in New York and New Jersey, there was more, many more of those than in Louisiana, which, you know, bottom line is that, you know, that, that, that water just did some damage, heavy damage, like really quick, man. Unbelievable. It, it does indeed. Tom, could you help me please with Kirkland Lake, that's ticker symbol KL, Tom, I, I had gone through all the uh, mining equity names the past two days, <clears throat> and uh, I've been observing Kirkland Lake has been relatively less weak since uh, that 1st of April low. And it's, uh, it's uh, rallying nicely today with the rest of them. My question, sir, is, uh, I think it's, what, 4240 now. If this does rally, takes out that 45 level, can you just... Uh, Give us your read, looking at the daily, weekly charts, where you th where you see this thing heading, please. Yeah, the low is for the year is 31. The high is 55. This is one of the strongest gold equities there is. Yeah, this is a this is a <laughs> this is a, a good looking equity, man. So, first off, what we have John is that you get you get a high volume high at 44.97, which is cool. We're at 42, but I I was just bringing this back and. I believe it has a high volume. Yeah, it, see, this thing, this thing wants to go to as high as 57 bucks, man. I mean, what we t if we take out this 44.97, if you get any juice on that takeout, you got big action, man. And when you take a look, now that's technically when you take a look at this fundamentally, it's a monster. Wait to see this number, folks. So this year they're doing 2.5 billion. Five years ago they did 747 million. I mean, you don't see a lot of gold companies that are growing and this one here is still growing at 50 at 15 percent per year 
uh, one of their biggest gold companies, Fosterville, uh, mines rather. That's 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 a monster. That's a monster growth, man. So yeah, the uh, Tom, just uh, by way of background, these guys. Uh, you probably remember from uh, five, six, seven years ago. These these guys were run by Goldman guys, okay. uh, Goldman banker types. Yeah. Uh, furthermore, it was back I think down in the nadir of the gold market, the, the gold price decline, that they snapped up. I forget the name of the company they Detour. bought, but it was Australian based. Detour, remember? And it had that Victoria. Uh, that Victoria, Australia mine that uh, is ramping up nicely. So um, uh, these guys have done just a fabulous job, you know, adding to their portfolio. And maybe they've got another uh, trick or two up their sleeves in the coming years. Who knows? No, there's no doubt. You know what's so crazy, um, Z, with this is that these guys here, folks, okay, <laughs> you talk about, you know, I wish I had four ears. I should have had four ears with these guys. These guys were right beside me at the gold shows, like, at least three times. And I, I was talking to the president, and the president, he didn't, he just like, he, I didn't realize it was Goldman guys that were behind him, but I was looking, the president didn't have a lot of um, shares, but the president was a geologist at the time. And what I've found, folks, is that the ones that are actually a geologist inside this mining business are a big deal. And the bottom line is that, yeah, when we look, look at 2016, the stock was at $2. Um, and you know how it goes. I mean, they had a real deal. And that when you look at these numbers now, it's, it's amazing. And I think the stock that you're talking about, because remember, they, they, were, um, they were an advertiser at one point, Detour Gold. And Detour is bringing in uh, this. They... they they break this out. You can see Detour is bringing in $960 million a year for them. It doesn't say that that's growing, but that Fosterville is growing by a, a monster amount. It, that's still growing. It's taking in $1.1 you know, so Indeed. Uh, thanks so much, Tom. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Have a great weekend, safe weekend, John. Really appreciate you calling. And, uh, yeah, we're kicking into the good old Labor Day weekend. And <laughs> this is pretty funny when I was talking about uh, as to uh, a new year, you know, yeah, you get, uh, of course, the, the, the folks up north. My perception of Labor Day is that snow is around the corner. Ooh. You know, when you've been in Florida as long as I have been, you know, now it's 24, 25 years, uh, you actually forget about the aspect that how cold and how fast it can go. But uh, you don't have to think snow just yet because the bottom line is that you get a beautiful fall uh, that is coming up that is going to be incredible in the northeast, okay? Um, and one of the reasons that it's going to be so incredible this year, folks, is this, is that unfortunately in the month of, I believe, so in, yeah, in the month of July, they got, they got so much rain up there that I was flying and the Bridget and I were there only like two weeks, three weeks ago. And it was beautiful flying in. And normally that doesn't happen, meaning that everything was so green. So when, when it stays that green and it's that healthy, which it is, okay, uh, the bottom line is that when everything turns, it just goes like extraordinary. The colors are going to be unbelievable up there. So you got to enjoy it at all. XAU and the HUI, what do you have? In both cases, bottom line, folks, is that you uh, have wide price spread up here. I expect you're going to have volume. I don't have the volume out here today, but you know what we do have? I get the volume from yesterday, and I expect that volume is going to be light. There it is. I love it. So we were going into $24 million. And we did 20 million yesterday when we were lower. That's what you'd like to see. That's on the gold bugs. That's on the XAU. On the HUI, what we're looking at out here. There we go. And on the look at that realty income just always keeps coming up on me. <laughs> okay, so we go take a look at the gold bugs index also. What you have with the Gold Bugs Index, uh, that is up eight bucks today. And we back down with 16 million versus 17 million. Uh, you get, we got a question in, inside the den about the, um, the GDX uh, and the light type of volume that's on the GDX. And is it a bear trap? See, my take, okay, so let's put this together. When you're putting together the metals market, right, 
I first go with the metal because you, you, you're trading in the metal, okay? So if gold's in an ABC structure on the way up, that's great news, man, because stocks follow gold. The dollar couldn't hold us high. That's telling me, guess what, man? Gold's going higher. The equities, all the equities, came into their strength and rejected lower price with lighter volume. When you put those three together, there's only one way for that to go, and that's up. And that, to me, is not a bear trap. That is like, guess what? Everyone's fed up, and you can see that. I mean, no one talks about gold, man. People are fed up. They're not going to be talking about gold. You know, let, let's see. We're at 1832. Watch this. It's going to be 1850 or 60, and then the, there's only 30 more bucks left in the ABC app. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 43. NASDAQ's up 33. S&P's up one and a half. So I just want to finish this gold thought. What This is what normally happens at the first leg up after a vicious retracement inside the gold market. This ABC structure up inside the gold market, and this is, this is sad what I'm gonna say, folks, okay? But this is what I've seen way too many times. So what happens here is this, is that picture, if we go back to uh, June 1st, gold was at 1916, right? Then it absolutely gets smashed down to 1692. I have an ABC structure up to 1894. What normally happens is this, is that at approximately 1880, 18, let's say 1880, pretty close to it. That's when you're going to start hearing 
a huge amount about the gold market. That's when people are going to get into it. And they're going to get into it right when, basically, we start selling into the marketplace. The first leg up. That's what kind of happens. And it's so weird, man. It's crazy, okay? Because after an ABC structure up, and what does happen with gold is this. Gold likes to do more than a 1 to 1.1 ABC. So inside an ABC structure up or down, folks, it goes like this. Let's say the first move is 10 bucks. A regular A to B equals C to D. First move is 10 bucks. Next move is 10 bucks. A 1 to 1.382. First move is 10 bucks. Next move is 13.8. 1 to 5 0, 10 bucks, 15. 1 to 1.68, 10 bucks, 16 bucks. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. Um, that's just kind of how, how it shakes. Well, that's. What has happened so many times in the past, it's insane. So then what happens is this. You get the pullback, shakes the trees a little, people get out again, and bang, it starts moving again. You, you got to just keep your head wrapped around this dollar and the gold because what does happen, well, you can see it in the, inside the silver market today. Inside the silver market, all these silver equities did not, would not move, bottom line, had nothing going for it. Then all of a sudden what happens, silver comes out of nowhere because that... 88 cents, takes all the silver equities with them. The silver equities do have volume as they're going up there. Let's go take a look at uh, BTG. BTG, this is B B2 Gold, I believe, yeah. B2 Gold, senior gold producer. Let's see what they're doing right now. So they're doing uh, one, look at that, man. That's impressive. Well, uh, we know what, you know what's so funny about it? I was saying you don't see gold companies that are, Growing, but this is growing, man. This is pretty intense, actually. There, uh, see, it makes sense though. We are in Mali, Mali, folks. Okay, it, West Africa, one of the least expensive places for gold. You can see that this year in Mali, they're going to do 1.8 billion. Five years ago, they did 638 million. They're growing in Mali by 115 percent per year. Monster move, man! Holy cow! And then if we take a look at this. You got the price spread going with you. And, you know, this is what's so, so look at this. I mean, when you look at these equities, we were talking about the price of, the physical price of gold, how it went down. It went down approximately $300. Now, look at the price of the equity. And this is what you got to understand if you're in the gold market, man. As we go up in the gold market, meaning you go up in the metal price, the equities go up exponentially. What I'm going to show you now, though, when we went down, you get down $300, but watch what it, like this, this equity went from 536 and then hit a low at 360 okay, only two weeks ago. That's, you get destroyed on the way down. I just, you know, in case you decide you want, you want to get into the gold market, you better understand, you know, what you're basically getting into. I love it. I'm not, I'm not, I just want you to understand it. Bottom line, this is going up. With price and volume, I suspect right now we're at 405, 451 is your first stop on the way up. You'll get a little flack at 451. That was the downtrend from the 16th and 17th of June. And all the equities, folks, well, gold and silver equities, they're going to have, you know, some problems at there. They get, they got to make it through it. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, bottom line, we'll see what ends up happening when they get up there. Uh, they make it through that, then they get some big action uh, coming at them in a huge way. We're going to take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And this is not going to be a high volume market. You can't expect a high volume market coming into the weekend. Um, oh, hey, actually, before we do this, okay, I'll do these first. I want to look at a couple. So you got, uh, let's see, AMC's down 80 cents. You got Carnival off a buck 21. Uh, you can see in those jobs numbers today, folks, Inside of the jobs numbers today, there was no jobs that were being created inside the travel industry, inside the hospitality industry, and I suspect that's why uh, you're looking at the aspect of uh, the, you know, the carnival being down. Um, uh, Virgin Galactic, that's down a buck sixty. This one here, man, I mean, you talk about doing a secondary, and you talk about um, him selling uh, out at the right time or just pushing shares out. Uh, this is absolutely amazing uh, that this stock has got cut in half since the day uh, that they went, um, just peaked into outer space. Uh, so this equity has gone from $57 down to $24. 
Uh, they did a secondary out there at approximately 41, I think. Let me just see what that was. I think it was 41, because even when they were doing it, it, it almost like, it says, wow, why couldn't they get that high? But <laughs> now when you look at 41, uh, this looks amazing, actually. You know, they don't even have it up here yet, but they, they did one. That's the bottom line. They don't have it inside of that. But uh, this is a little problem child. And then I, when yesterday I saw something come across the tape of uh, the, they had a couple of, reg yeah, here it is. Okay, so FAA grounds Virgin Galactic. U.S. Uh, aviation authorities won't permit Virgin Galactic to fly into space until an investigation is complete into whether a July 11 flight deviation threatened public safety. The FAA is reviewing why Spaceship Two flew outside the area in which it was cleared by the agency during a trip to space that carried uh, Richard Branson. Oh, well, that's interesting. Virgin Galactic may not return to Spaceship Two vehicle uh, to flight until the FAA approves the final mishap. Ooh, that's interesting. Investigation report uh, determines the issues related to a mishap did not affect public policy. Company officials did not respond to requests for comment. Um, that's, that's pretty interesting, man. So that first, it said that the, the July 11 flight deviated from their flight plan. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a heads up, man. <laughs> that is a heads up in spades, holy cow. We'll see where that goes. But the bottom line is that Branson pushed a huge amount of stock out. They did a secondary. They pushed a huge amount of stock out. Bottom line, big problems out there. Adobe, A-D-B-E. Now, this, this is, you talk about a powerhouse, man. This thing is one powerhouse. It's at all-time highs today. And this is an ABC structure up, man. This thing is looking to go to 720. And it's amazing. 420 is the low for the year. It's at an all-time high today of 699. But it looks like 720's game, man. I mean, this is amazing. You know, what you do have now is that they have the numbers to, to basically support it. They have gone from a price point. Look at this number. This is, this is a growth firm, like, in a, in a huge way, too. Um, come on. They're doing $15.7 billion this year. Five years ago, they $7.3 billion. So you can see big numbers, man, no doubt. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the, the Dow Industrials right now. Uh, I think this Bloomberg must be wanting to get on vacation, too, or something, man. It's slow today. Uh, Dow is down 37. NASDAQ is up 37. S&P's up one and a half. We're coming right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to uh, Philip in St. Pete. Hey, Philip, what's going on, man? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Happy Friday. Happy Friday, <laughs> man. Happy uh, Labor Day weekend. Yeah. So, Toyota, right? <laughs> yeah, I hate to bug you on this one again. Should I get out of this put? I would watch yourself, yes. And this is, with, so watch, this is what's going on. The last night, yeah, let, let, take a look at this Nikkei. Now, this, this wasn't a move by the, uh, the yen. The Nikkei was up 2% last night. What's going on is that their premier, only after a year, is resigning. So, yeah, I'd be really careful, man. You know, everyone got bullish, like, beyond belief. Uh, you know, that somehow... What I've seen is this. Let, let, let's talk about this for a second. What, what I've seen at Japan in general is that every time they get a new premier, the bottom line is that they think they're going to basically be able to defeat deflation. OK, um, you know, and it's never happened yet. But, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't take more heat because this this has volume today. It's two hundred and thirty two uh, thousand contracts. Let me just see if I go NK. Uh, let me do it this way. T O Y. I'll bring this up in Japan. T O Y. Come on, baby. Give me the Japan one. There it is. Okay. So let's bring this up from last night and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's up 106 yen last night. Come on, man, I, this, this Bloomberg wants a vacation. <laughs> yeah, look at the volume <laughs> even last night, even in, to in Tokyo. Yeah, it's a monster. It's, it's big. So it took out a B point. They, 97, yeah, P, yeah. Don't, don't hang there, man. It's not worth Get it. Get out, okay. Not worth it. All right, it. I'll close it. Okay, man. Listen, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend. You too, enjoy it. Hey, the boat races are down the pier. Don't forget about the boat oh, races. Yeah. yeah. What, so, what day? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Cooking, man. All right. Let's go to Cooking. Ray in Orlando. Hey, Ray, what's going on? Okay, so Ray wanted to look at uh, Harmony Gold. Uh, come on. Come on, baby. The low in Harmony is 346. The high is 662. Uh, we are trading out. Where are we trading, man? Tell me where we're trading. You there, Ray? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I just bought it uh, today, and I'm I noticed that it's got heavy selling by volume in the last couple of days. I'm wondering if you have any insight about what's going on with that one when gold is going up. Yeah, I wouldn't. I I, I wouldn't stay in this right now. So what you had, I'm not sure whether this is they they had it. it what happens in South Africa? Unfortunately, there's always mining accidents. Okay, um, uh, but the bottom line is that another miner died yesterday. And this is where they're reopening a mine, okay? Um, okay. They're following a, a fall of ground, which is a fall. What happens with a fall of ground that's pretty dangerous? What ha happens is they're like sinkholes, man. And you've got to remember something, that inside of the South African equities, uh, you're talking about mines that are actually down two to three miles. 
And just mm. as you said, Ray, um, the bottom line is that I, yeah, I just swap it out. That's what to do, man. Just you know, you know, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy equities that are going down when everything else is going up because you think it's a it's a less expensive price. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Go for a stronger equity, man. I mean, because all the gold equities are up. You know. Yeah. So yeah, swap it out. That. Okay. Thanks. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. The uh, and a swap out, folks. Hey, listen, a sw I. We all understand you can't, none of us can stand it when the stock goes against us. A swap out is very easy to do, okay? A swap out means that, okay, he's not down any money. He said $3.52. You just swap it out. You say, okay, man, I don't want that one. Just grab another gold equity. Every one of them is, is up today, okay? Get one that's strong. And, you know, you've heard this a million times, not off me, but just in general in the marketplace, you want to buy strength and you don't buy weakness. And I can tell you flat out, that when things start running, okay, the strong run much better than the weak. That's just how it goes. Uh, so inside of the gold and silver market, guess what? Buy the strong equities. And you'll be very happy you did because when they go, they go up exponentially. And what happens is that, here, let, let's just go over to, watch this. This is finally moving again, Pan American silver. Um, silver market moves, so this is moving again. Yeah, this, this is this is this is an ABC up. This is taking a B point out, taking it out with volume. So you got what twenty? You're up eighty four cents right now. We had a low of twenty three. You're already at twenty six. This thing's going to run to twenty nine. Um, bottom line is that let's see what this one does. Twenty six. Twenty. That's only three bucks. Okay, so that that's an ABC up now to twenty five fifty two. You know. And this is a this is a decent equity that takes in a lot of money also. So revenue wise, this is what you have with revenue wise. Revenue wise, come on, you're taking 1.7 billion dollars. You did 816 million five years ago. 1.7 billion. That's that's a that's a nice number. Hecla, we go take a look at Hecla. Stay in the silver market for a few minutes here. Hecla right now. Hecla. That's good too. Yeah, that's up 26 cents, 640. This is wide price spread accelerated volume, 545. Eh, it's about a 70 cent A to B, which is 670. This thing here, when you're looking at these over the weekend, folks, what you can expect is this go to the 16th, 7th, and 17th, 16th, 17th, and 18th. June 16th, 17th, and 18th. Uh, if you if you own metal stocks, okay, that's where to go because I suspect on the first run up, which we're in right now, that's where these things should run to, and then they're going to catch some big flack because that that's going to be the hard part to get through. the The gold contract, okay, is almost at that level right now, and we'll see how that handles it. But the gold equities, that's still not bad. I mean, that's still another buck higher inside um, Hecla. Uh, inside, inside other ones, uh, let's go take a look at e an Eco Eagle. Uh, an Eco Eagle out here, this is trading up right now. Man, I can't believe how slow this thing is. It's good we're off for the weekend. Needs a rest. <laughs> so an Eco, e an Eco Eagle is up a buck 28. Uh, this could use some more volume. This could use more volume, but an Eco Eagle, I, I suspect, is going to go to 65 anyway. You're, you're 58 right now. And 65 is going to be the flak, and it's going to take it'll take it'll take a bit to get to take out the 65. Uh, Newmont, we get a call in Newmont yesterday. Newmont was was running, um, and there's a question: What gold stock would you swap? How many? I would go into uh, Pan American Silver. You know, just you have less less shares. And the reason I say that is that when Pan American Silver starts running, it runs in a monster way, and you know it, it's a company that makes money. Uh, you just saw the numbers on it. They're big numbers. Uh, if we take a look at Newmont, uh, Newmont, uh, look at this, man. So what we have happening here, even in Newmont, you get one more gap up. These are going to leave, leave monster island bottoms. And if that's what you get, folks, on top of the large hammer that the gold contract had, if we get one gap up on uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday, rather, um, that is going to be a very positive sign that these metals want higher price. And uh, as I said, you know, my take is inflation's here. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, another stock to watch next week, folks, when we come back, is Zscaler. Zscaler right now, oh, Zscaler, Z-S-C-A. There we go. ZS. Uh, this equity here, now this has been on a tear, uh, no doubt. But here, look at this number, man. I mean, if you're, uh, this is an amazing number also. Now, they, this year they're doing 663 million. Next year they look to do 902 million. Five years ago they did 125 million. This equity's growing by 25% 20, a year. I mean, it is just a monster out there. Uh, you know, bottom line is that, yeah, let it. You know, wait for a pullback or something, but put it on your radar, man. You know, uh, because it looks to me like that that baby uh, wants to get higher, and that's in the security software business. And you know, the cyber so software business, folks. Uh, bottom line is that uh, that is only going to grow. That's 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 the real bottom line. Uh, we take a look at the markets out here. We take well, let's actually go look, take a look at the euro because if the dollar is going to continue to go south, the euro is going to continue to go north. And uh, the euro has got to get over this uh, 11909. We made it to one. Oh, look at this, man. This kills me. We made it to 11909 and gave it up on price today. So, again, right to the last swing high, gave it up on price. And what's stopping it is this 16th and 17th. You're going to see right across the world, the 16th and 17th, folks, uh, that's when the euro went from 121 and the euro came down to 118. Now, that is one monster move. Uh, the British pound, we take a look at the British pound out here. Uh, British pound uh, is up 37 ticks. 
That is trading. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's a break top side. That wants to go to higher price. And the amazing part, folks, is that the Nikkei didn't go higher last night. No, went higher exponentially last night when the yen came down. You know, and that was all about the uh, premier is resigning. He's only there a year. Going to get a new premier. As I, as I said, the, you know, the market's looking that, hey, well, is someone going to be able to defeat deflation? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit us Tuesday morning. Tommy kicks us off, 9 o'clock. Great show. Look at him, folks.